So let's go ahead and break down the jump shot you should probably use online. Of course you can tweak it. It all comes down to the base for the most part. But man, I've been trying out different jump shots and I haven't been struggling, but I've been inconsistent until I found the JT Thor base. The JT Thor base is super smooth, it's quick. Like this build is a 6-8. You see you need to be at least 6-5 with average shooting abilities. My three point shot is only an 81. My mid range shot is a 46 right now, right? But the JT Thor base has been super consistent for me. And so I just wanna put that out there, man. Like if you're struggling with shooting, if the release timing is throwing you off, try out JT Thor. Also for the upper release one and upper release two, we're using double Clay Thompson actually. And it's crazy because I don't even like Clay Thompson's jump shots, but for the rec, pro-am, park, it's just been super smooth and super fluid. And honestly, that's how I determine what's a good jump shot on 2K. You know, you don't want to have a jump shot with a hitch in it or a two motion jump shot. I like the one motion jump shots and this is what's going to do it. So we have in a release height of A plus, release speed of B minus, defensive immunity of A, time and stability of D. And I know somebody's going to bring that up. I definitely recommend time and stability because what that does is when somebody is close to you or jumps at you, it decreases the chances of speeding up your jump shot. But I only shoot wide open shots. So if I have to sacrifice anything for consistency, it's going to be time and stability. But that's just me and my play style. I'm not trying to force anyone to make this jump shot. Same with the builds. Like I don't force anyone to make the builds either, right? I'm not saying they're the best in the video and the title, sure, but in the video, you all know what it is. These are just templates, right? I'm just trying to let you know that JT Thor, that base is chicken, bro. I don't know what it is about it. Like I said, it is smooth. It has a nice follow through with the Clay Thompson release. But man, once we equipped it, we became mad consistent. So when it comes to the blending and release speed, we're going for release speed. Um, I just, <laughs> I just wanted to see if going a certain way would do anything on the Clay Thompson, but you can leave it at 50, 50. Just make sure it's at the fastest speed. Therefore you can shoot these shots before people close out or before they can contest your jump shot and change the timing of it because you don't want that to happen. Not only that, but we also have new release cues this year. And I'm going to let you know that I'm playing on push. I just feel like it has that natural release feeling to it. And that's pretty much all I need, no matter what jump shot I have. Um, if you played on late on 2K23, to me, it's similar to late. So that's why I'm rocking with it. So once again, you don't have to copy this jump shot. I just want to put it out there, fam. Like this jump shot is pretty tough. And if you're missing a lot of shots, whether it's because your base is messed up, release is messed up, or you have a low three, a relatively low three, this jump shot might be the one for you. Just try it out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Definitely let me know what jump shot you're using on 2K24 right now. You all be easy. Peace.